I was going to say, I'll start recording now so that I can kind of flex my vault a little bit, too, <laughs> while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah. Just see Tramzy's eyes widening at work. Yep. <laughs> all right, so I'm coming back, and we can get the party started, and I'll go over all the, the fun achievement stuff. Okay, yeah, so for the video, like I was saying before, I made my... Or I made the server actually on December 9th of 2021. And so from that point till now, it's been 394 days that I've had this account. So that's how long it's taken to max. <laughs> that is actually amazing. Which is within the window that live was available. So I guess if you were going at this pace, you could have done it in live. Yeah, that's actually true, yeah. But several things would make that pretty much impossible from what I've heard, like mainly the mini boss type stuff. Is it? Because, I mean, you'd never have, like, an empty crux like we had. Yeah, so, that's true. It kind of makes it more difficult. But, anyways, thank you guys for coming. Um, this is going to be, as far as I know, the first time this has been done on DLU or on the live game. Um, it's a little bit different with DLU, like I was just saying, since you kind of have the server to yourself a lot of the time, so you can do the grindy achievements whenever you want. But... We will go through the passport now. So this is the one that I'm about to complete. This is the last one, the worthy builder. And that's 10,000 quick builds. So we'll start at the front here. This is uh, total currency collected 20 million. Um, although I spend and gave a lot of that away. So I'm currently have four mil about. Um, other fun stuff here. Uh, and you guys can feel free to just chime in and ask questions and stuff if you're interested in anything specifically. Please make yourself richer than Trouty. I want to watch his face. <laughs> I've been trying, man. It's hard to keep up when he's got 11 mil. So uh, here's total distance traveled, which is surprisingly less than the amount of currency I collected. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, total distance driven. Anybody who's been playing the past couple weeks knows that that's what I've been doing a lot the past like month or two. Um, so here's the playtime. This is what everybody was asking about. So let me calculate that. Uh, that is uh, 734 hours on just this account. Uh, I yeah. Yeah, what's what's up? Uh, is the total non-daily missions completed uh, achievement included in this? Uh, I didn't think that one was possible. To yeah, so technically it's not possible. Um, there was a glitch, and I'll get to that once I go through like all the uh, all the world achievements. I'll yeah, I'll point out any anomalies like that for things that either shouldn't be possible or aren't currently possible. So we'll just start with the worlds. Obviously, everything in uh, Venture Explorer is completed, and that can be completed legitimately. Um, I think same thing with Avant Gardens. Yeah, so everything here is good. Uh, I'll point out some of the biggest ones, which are like the Paradox Protector, where you've got a thousand of each type, and then Avant Guardian, where you've got, I think it culminates to like, yeah, like 8,600 Stromlings. <laughs> that one's a fun one. And then if we go to Nimbus Station, for a while here, the one that we couldn't complete was the easiest one, which was Boogie Down, but Emo Siwa was able to uh, fix that recently, so now we can get that. Um, I don't think there's anything else too crazy in Nimbus Station. And then we go to Pet Cove, same thing with Pet Cove, this one's pretty standard. And then we've got Gnarled Forest. Um, the main ones in here that take forever are the, like, killing the pirate ones. Um, not that one, although that does take a little while. I think it's mainly, like, the, the admirals, like a thousand admirals and uh, somewhere close to like 250 apes. So that takes a while since there's only like two ape spawns in there. Um, Forbidden Valley, the big one in Forbidden Valley is definitely the 300 dragons. Just because you only get three at a time and then you got to leave the instance and come back. <laughs> so that one's not too great. Um, where is that one? Yeah, this one right here. So 333 dragons total. That's where you get this shirt, which is a really cool shirt. I think I have it here. There we go. There's that shirt. So, all right, going back to Nexus Tower. This is one that has uncompletable achievements. It has the um, the Nexus Tower Builder achievements, just because you can't donate to the Nexus Drawbox. It's not uh, functioning server wide or server wise. 
So that one, unfortunately, has six achievements tied to it that I can't complete, which does kill me. But if any of these that aren't currently completable ever do become completable, I will go back and do them. And then we've got Crux Prime, which is completable. And the one that is ridiculous on here is like the Dragon Slayer and the, um, the Ape Whisperer. And actually, I think here the Ape Whisperer is also harder than the Dragons, just because there's usually only like one Ape, unless you want to kill Rumorg, which nobody wants to do. Um, and then the Ninjago Monastery, everything here is able to be completed legitimately. And par for the course, the most difficult stuff or the most time consuming stuff is just killing all the, the enemies. So like all the bone wolves and all the weird stuff on the battlefield. So that's all the world achievements. So the only one that you can't get in the world achievements is the Nexus Tower Builder. So now we've got the uh, general. And so in vanilla DLU, these are not possible, but obviously anybody playing on this server knows that I've added them to the... Uh, to the shop over here so you can actually just buy them from here so those are able to be completed on this one uh, the longest one on here for sure that I just completed a couple weeks back was the 1000 or like yeah 1850 uh, daily missions which is just ridiculous um, the best way I found to do this was to go to Avant Gardens and just do like the daily 22 or something there and uh, that was like one of the quicker ways. Yeah, like clockwork. <laughs> so don't recommend it, but don't recommend any of this really. So for battle, this is one of the other most recent ones that I just finished uh, a couple days ago during this week was not the boss of me where you have to kill 5,000 mini bosses. Thankfully, the um, spiders on Crux do count as mini bosses. So once you find a good spawn of those, uh, you're able to get a lot of kills per hour, and so we had a big party going over the, the week and just knocked that out pretty quickly. Um, let's see, what else? Avant Garden Survival, everything here is able to be completed legitimately. The biggest one is definitely the 10,000 enemies, <coughs> which is just insane amounts of time. Twice as long as the Stromlings for regular Avant Garden. So I was in Avant Gardens a long time just killing things. <laughs> And oh, then, imagine being in Avant Garden Survival for a long time. <laughs> Couldn't be you. Definitely not. Couldn't be me. Never. Never. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> yeah, how long was that? Three and a half hours or something? Uh, yeah, three and a half hours. In a yeah, time. that's what I love. This server is crazy. Everybody on here just does stupid things like this. So, <laughs> so me doing this isn't even that insane. Like, uh, uh, Martin is well on his way to also achieving this. I think he's probably got close to like 100 to 200 hours worth of actual content left, but in the grand scheme of, you know, 30 total days of playtime, that's not too far away. Yeah, uh, definitely got to give him a shout out because he's working on that very, very close behind me. So Venture Explorer Return is super simple. There's not a lot going on here. That one's all able to be done legitimately. Battle of Nimbus Station, um, this one just takes forever because you got to do like uh, I think it was, yeah, you got to do like 200 kills of Merkle Blotch, which it, just nobody wants to do that. <laughs> um, same thing with the four horsemen. Um, and like all the other bosses, there's like, yeah, you got to do like 60 of the spider and all that stuff. But all that stuff is able to be done legitimately. Here's where we get to the tab where it's very upsetting to me because reputation is not possible in this. This is just what you get from achievements. Um, so I can't complete this one, even if I wanted to. Um, if reputation is ever added, I'll definitely make it a point to try and get that done. But it is kind of hard because you just got to hope that people visit your property a ton. So it's not really dependent on me. But um, I would definitely make an effort to do that. And then the visitor, same thing here. We don't have a thousand public properties. I think we're close to like 250 right now or a little bit over it. But if we ever get to a thousand, then I'll make an effort to go through and visit every single one of them so I can get that you, achievement. So You could create alts to create properties. <laughs> so we actually do have technically a thousand, but they're not all public. But I also didn't want to be you know cheap and force people's properties to be public or just make a bunch of empty properties public. So I'm actually waiting until we can get that legitimately. Um, just cause I don't want to cheese it. So, 
And then same thing with ain't misbehaving. Uh, we don't have behaviors implemented yet, although Emo has also been working on that. Um, but it's quite a huge task, so whenever he gets that done, that shouldn't take very long to just add a bunch of behaviors to properties. So, yeah, this is the main one. And then, of course, this is the one I'm about to get here. Um, and we're getting close to the end here, so that'll be in a second. And we've got the, uh, the play tab here. This one... I think, yeah, this is all, oh my gosh, I forgot about this one. You have to roll the Lego dice and get a six a hundred times. So on average, you're rolling the dice roughly 600 times for this one. This one took forever. Um, shooting gallery, this is, I would think, honestly, the worst achievement in the game, I would say, uh, is Pirate Sharpshooter. Shooting gallery. Yeah. Shooting gallery can suck an egg. <laughs> yeah, you got to get 600 million total, or 610, actually. So that took... That one took me, like, literally, that, that broke me. I was going so hard on this in, like, March and April, and then I got to this achievement, and I just, like, man, it slowed to a crawl, and it took me until, I think, September to finish that one. So sometime f over, like, five months is when I was just gradually chipping away at this one, and I hated it. Um, so don't recommend, but, yeah. And then we've got Racing... Uh, this one, just like literally a couple days ago, Emo also fixed the complete overhaul, so that one was able to be done. And then the only other point of note is this one right here is currently broken in the way that it tracks it. So you, once you get to here, it says 10 more for a total of 20, but it resets you back to zero, so you actually need like 30. And then here you'd need another 30, and there's just not enough achievements to actually do that. So it's set up so that they're, you're supposed to do all 36 achievements and then it completes it, but the tracker is currently broken. So I just had to auto-complete that one because I did finish all the other achievements, which would complete that if it, the tracker was working. And then, yeah, Nimbus Station, uh, done with that. Arnold Forest, done with that. Forbidden Valley, done with that. Uh, somebody had a question? No, I was just going to say how was racing, because racing has been especially painful for mod. Yes, racing is very painful, although it did get better with the fix that Emo did for the um, the lobbies, because that was the most frustrating part, is trying to get people into the lobby and without booting somebody or somebody missing it. Um, but with that being fixed now, it's actually not too bad. Um, it's just having to get a party of people together. And that's something I should mention. For DLU, you have an option to do solo racing. For this server, I did not enable that, so I had to do all these with an actual party of three people if I wanted it to count for, you know, like the the wins, the 50-time win here. So that was quite challenging. That also took a really long time. And uh, Ninja, who is unfortunately not in here right now, he helped me with that just the other night, and we were able to close that out. Um, yeah, so that's all the racing achievements. And then we've got the World Builder League. There's really nothing of note in here. These are just, like, the sub-worlds from Starbase. And then same thing with Frostburg. And so I do have Frostburg on this server. It's not native to DLU, but it's a pretty easy mod to add it in. So I did that, and these were all achieved legitimately. So that is it. That is all the achievements. So I think there's only one, two, three, plus the six uh, Nexus Tower, plus this one is kind of iffy. So there's only like, I mean, I did do it, but it just didn't track it properly. Um, so there's only like 10. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about that. Um, where is that one? Do you know what that's under? Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's, on, it, isn't it, uh, play? It's under play. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. So this one was, I think with the addition of Frostburg, because these missions do count, I think we're like eight short. Cause even in live, you weren't able to complete that mission you would be like uh, like 20 something short, but with the addition of Frostburg, you're like eight missions short of being able to get 400. I accidentally, when I put in a, um, a patch for like a mission, I accidentally made it count for this mission as well. I went back and removed that, but since it had already completed this for me because I had done it a couple times, I didn't realize that that made this previously uncompletable mission completable. Um, so, I mean, I would be at like 392 or something out of 400. So that is one of the other ones that had an asterisk. So thank you for pointing that out. All right. Well, I think I'm ready to go ahead and do it, um, and just get the recording done with so we can have that taken care of. And then we can do some partying and I'll give out, you know, all this random stuff that I have here. But anyways, here we go. Four more, 
four more quick builds and this is it so yeah i would i'm gonna post this online I, and we'll find out hopefully if anybody knows if this has been done before i don't think it has but it would be cool to hear if somebody has done this could be the first person ever in buggy universe history to 100 percent the game yep historic moment all right here we go i'm gonna watch it from above wait wait <laughs> Everybody ready? I mean, it's recording anyway, so it's fine, but yeah, here we go. It, let's see it. Woo! <laughs> we got it! Oh my god! 730 hours in the making, baby. Oh, and finally, I got that model. Oh, that castle really is so cool. See what that model looks like. I've yeah, I'm just, I'm time. definitely going to go throw it on my property. All right, let's see. Um, where's my thinking cap? Haven't used this in like a year. All right, there it is. Can't you, can't you just click on the model itself and it will automatically put the thinking? Yeah. Whoa, check that out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so this is King Leo's castle from uh, the original Knight's Kingdom. That looks so cool. That is sick. Oh my. I'm not going to lie, it's smaller than I thought it would be. It definitely like, is. I'm well, totally actually, I really yeah. Cool. I expected it to be about this size, but what I'm probably going to do is do like a whole castle build around it, like have a oh bunch of this God. stuff yeah. and just kind of have it be the centerpiece. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll probably like edit this down to make it quicker for YouTube, but we'll put that up on blue highlights so everybody can observe this momentous occasion. But thank you all for being here and thank you for watching.